Let's start our Dhamma discussion by reciting Namo Dasa three times together. Namo Dasa Bhagavato Arahato Samba Sambuddhasa Namo Dasa Bhagavato Arahato Samba Sambuddhasa Namo Dasa Bhagavato Arahato Samba Sambuddhasa Yesterday we explained how to practice four element meditations briefly. So today, I will continue to explain how to continue to practice. You know, when you can discern four elements in each kalapa, translucent kalapa and untranslucent kalapa in six doors, then you can also continue to discern the other rupa, only just briefly. If I explain in detail, with a few explanations, our time will finish. If you wish to practice this meditation practically in detail, sure, you can come to Myanmar, okay? When you can practice four elements in translucent klapa, okay? Translucent klapa in the iron door. Then you can continue to design skala. For example, pay attention to translucent kalaba in the eye door, then descend earth, water, fire, wind, kala. Pay attention to their respective characteristics. Kala is, you know, kala or sentence. White kala, brown kala, etc. This is kala. In the same way, there is also kala in those kalaba. For example, translucent kalaba has translucent kala. Untranslucent kalapa has untranslucent kala, or these are kala. Then you understand this is also a kind of rupa, among 28 kinds of rupa. When you can successfully descend up to kala and translucent kalapa, you can continue to descend up to kala and untranslucent kala. Then you can also continue to descend in the other door up to kala. Then you can increase. Another one is a ganda, oda. Oda also, you know, there's an oda of kalapa. There's an oda in each kalapa. Then you can also discern this oda by vipassana knowledge. Another one, only just briefly, flavor, taste. There's also taste in each rupa, each kalapa. Then you can continue to discern this flavor, Taste in this kalapa by vipassana knowledge, then you will be able to discern this flavor. Another one is a ocha in Pali, okay, nutritive essence, nutri- nutritive essence. Then you can also continue to discern this nutritive es- essence inside the kalapa by vipassana knowledge, then you will be able to discern up to ocha altogether eight in each kalapa. You know, according to the scientist's test, they can only see the smallest particles, like neutron or at- atom, etc. They cannot discern those materiality inside those kalapa. But, you know, disciples of the Buddhas can discern those kalapa according to the Buddha's instruction. Okay, so these are ultimate reality, paramatha. Now you are discerning paramatha rupa, ultimate materiality. When you can discern those rupa step by step, pay attention to their respective natures, then your Western, you know, your Western, no ultimate realities. This is called Western. This is called Vipassana, Jnana, Insight, Knowledge. Only vipassana jnana inside, vipassana penya inside knowledge can discern, can see those ultimate reality as they really are.
So why this wisdom, inside knowledge, vipassana, penya can see those ultimate reality as they really are, because concentration. You are descending those ultimate reality by vipassana knowledge based on concentration. At the time, you only see ultimate reality, only rupa, paramatha rupa, you don't see as men or women, human being or deva, etc. You already despair the possession of being, sada senya. In this way, you can continue to design all rupa, altogether 28 kinds of rupa. If you have a bit of more knowledge, there you will understand there are 28 kinds of rupa. Then when you can analyze those 28 kinds of rupa in your body, then you have the analytical knowledge of matter, analytical knowledge of rupa or materiality. Rupa prachira jnana. Here you can see materiality apprehension. They use uh, rupa prachira jnana, rupa prachira jnana. They are the same in chat. You can see. Then, yeah, you can also see Arupa Pregaha, mentality apprehension. <laughs> they translate like this. So, there are also Nama, you know, mind and mental patterns. You also need to continue to discern those Namas based on concentration. For example, if you have already practiced up to Anapana Fujana stage, then you can start to discern. Those namadama beginning from the first anapana jhana. When you practice anapana meditations, then you also know how to descend five jhana fetas. Then you can start to descend beginning from five jhana fetas. How to descend? Okay, and then do anapana the first jhana. Imagine from this jhana, pay attention to the boenga. As soon as you pay attention to the boenga, anapana pripaga nimeta will appear in the boenga. Then, Taking Anapana Pripagani Meta is objects, the first jhana witi jhana process will occur. As Manodrawa jhana, Prikama, Ubajara, Anuloma, Godrabu, many time jhana, Javana. In this way, it will occur. Then, first, you should study, you should learn from the teacher. Then, teacher will explain how those mental process are occurring. This is we call priyati knowledge. Then after that you practically practice, you will automatically understand, you will automatically experience yourself. After that, you can start to analyze, beginning from five jhana fetas, vitaka, vitaka, you know, vitaka is an application of the mind on the patipagani meta, then descent. Then which are sustain application of the mind on the Padipagani Meta. Pity, like and for Padipagani Meta, Sukha, happiness for happiness of Padipagani Meta. You can get a one pointedness of mind on the Padipagani Meta. In this way, you can continue to design, you can continue to analyze those Nama, pay attention, their respective characteristics. When you can successfully descend this five jhana fetas, then you can start to analyze nama dhamma in each mind moment. For example, the first jhana jita associated with the other thirty-three mental fetas, jita sika, altogether thirty-four. Then you can start to analyze those thirty-four jita and jita sika, paying attention to their respective natures. Then jita. Chaita is, you know, in the first jhana, the first jhana chaita is called chaita. Then chaita, chaita, which jhana lakana? Knowing the object is called chaita. So the first jhana know pati bhagani meta objects. Then you should try to pay attention to this nature. Then you can discern consciousness or chaita. Then this, the first jhana chaita was so shake mental effects. Among this mental fetas, you start to design beginning from fasa. Fasa is contact. Okay, contacting with this object. If there's no contact with this object, so you don't know this object. So there's a contacting nature. This is what we call fasa. Then you can continue to design fasa. Then, virana feeling. 
in the first jhana, virana is somanasa virana, pleasant feelings. So you can also continue to discern this feeling, pleasant virana, somanasa virana, pleasant feelings. Okay? You will understand the somanasa virana in the first jhana. Then continue to discern senya possessions. Okay? You have possessions towards these objects. For example, Patipaganimita objects. Then you will understand this is possession, senya. In this way, you can continue to discern, pay attention to their respective nature or characteristics up to 34. Okay? Then when you can finish the discernment of those jhana dhamma, then you can also continue to discern the other nama dhamma, kama vajra nama dhamma. There are only two types of kama vajra nama dhamma. One type is kusala, hosans, and another type is akusala and hosan nama dhamma. Those kusala chaita and akusala chaita also arise together with associated mental effects. For example, now you are developing Buddha's quality, paying attention to Buddha's quality objects. At that time, kusala are arising. This kusala are called kamavachara kusala. Now you are practicing sanapana meditation, pay attention, and breath of breath. When you can focus on the breath of breath, then you can also meditate comfortably and peacefully. At that time, maha kusala chaita are arising. This maha kusala chaita also associate with the other mental effects. You know, knowing Buddha's quality objects or knowing in breath of breath object is called mind consciousness, chaita. Then you can continue to discern fasa, contest, virana, feeling, senya, possession, etc. in this way up to 34. Then you will be able to discern kusala chaitas together with associated mental effects. In this way, you can design all kusala chaita together with associated mental effects. Then you can also continue to design akusala chaita and wholesome mind or evil minds together with associated mental effects. For example, loba attachments. When you see desirable objects, you have attachment mind, loba, greed. Then this loba also arises together with associated mental effects. So there will be altogether maybe 20 or 90 or 22 or 21. Okay, usually 20. Then, you know, loba mula chaita, greed. At that time, knowing the desirable object is called loba chaita, consciousness. Contending with this object is called fasa, uh, feeling of this object is called virana, possession on this object is called senya. In this way, pay attention to their respective nature. You can continue to design all chaita sika. In this way, you can continue to design all loba mula chaita. Then you can also continue to design dosa. You are getting angry, taking one undesirable object or disagreeable object. Then this dosa also will occur together with associated mental factors. That will be maybe 80 or 20. At the times, you know, all kusala chaita or akusala chaita become your Vipassana, meditation object. Then you can also discern those nama mentality until you see ultimate reality stage, paramata stage. In this way, you can discern all akusala chaita. Whatever akusala chaita has occurred in your mind, you can analyze them. In this case, I would like to explain regarding sati patana, okay? The four foundations of mindfulness. When you are discerning rupa, okay? When you are discerning four element meditation, beginning from four element meditation or rupa, then you are contemplating kaya, body as body. So this contemplation is called kaya nupasana sati patana, contemplating of body. When you discern Nama Dhamma, you can start to discern beginning from consciousness. When you start to discern beginning from consciousness, or this kind of discernment or contemplation is called Chaita Nupasana, 
contemplating on contemplating on mind consciousness you can also start to discern beginning from feeling awareness when you start to discern beginning from awareness feeling there will be awareness nupasana contemplating on feelings you can also start to discern beginning from contact fatsa etc then when you start to discern the other mental phenomena there will be dhamma nupasana contemplating or mind objects or dhamma objects so now you are practicing four satipatthana not only one satipatthana you know whatever mind appear in your mind you only just observe this my then this is satta nupasana without knowledge of ultimate reality although you see this mind you will not see as they really are then as is it is not called chaitanya nupasana now you understand then in this way when you when you can analyze all nama according to their process their procedures then you will finish the discernment of nama then you will attain nama prachira jnana here arupa prakaha jnana analytic knowledge of mind or we can also say analytic knowledge of mentality then this two combines together are called nama rupa prachira jnana analytic knowledge of mind and matter they also use definition or com- comprehensions knowledge of mentality and materiality then beginning from four element or rupa are called rupa khanda you know among kusala or akusala nama dhamma you know that's a feeling virana this virana is called virana khanda feeling aggregate there is also senya possession this senya is called senya senya khanda okay possession aggregate the other remaining mental factor jitasika are called sankara khanda formation aggregate consciousness mind okay kusala mind or agusala mind are called vijnana khanda consciousness aggregate all together five khanda okay when you can penetrate this nama rupa or five aggregates then you penetrate dukkha secha the noble truth or suffering when you can discern those rupa and nama pay attention to their respective natures accordingly at the times you know there's a no man there's a no women there's a no human being there's a no deva there's a no animal only a group of nama and rupa then although you know there's a no men no women there's no human being no deva no brahma but you should you still have wrong view what is the doubt you know there are many different kinds of idea in the world some people hold those beings or those nama rupa are created by god then you also have such kinds of doubt according to their teachings those nama rupa or beings are created by god or no some people who they are the wrong views those nama rupa or beings are created by you know brahma whether their idea is it true or no you still have doubt there are many people who are holding such kinds of wrong view in the world then some people also have the other idea those nama rupa arise without any causes they automatically arise themselves then when you pass away all nama rupa will finish there's nothing will happen in the future or they also have such kinds of another kinds of wrong view whether they are true or not or to be able to remove such kinds of wrong view you still need to continue to find the cause of nama and rupa how to find 
when you have already successfully descend those nama rupa systematically step by step, at the time you understand how to descend nama rupa and bhavanga. Then you can continue to descend their causes, beginning from presence nama rupa. Pay attention, Bhavanga, my stage beginning from this Bhavanga, then you descend Nama Rupa, Nama Rupa, slowly, slowly. For example, now Nama Rupa, then after they move yesterday Nama Rupa. The day before yesterday Nama Rupa, one week ago Nama Rupa, one month ago Nama Rupa, one year ago Nama Rupa. In this way, you will be able to descend Nama Rupa up to Mother's womb, up to Pretty moment. Pretty me the first stage of you know our life, your life at the mother's womb. Then at that time there are three thirty kinds of rupa, three types of kalapa. You know, then you can also descend this thirty types of kalapa, kaya daska kalapa, bhava daska kalapa, and hadia daska kalapa. Three thirty kinds of kalapa for human beings. Then you can also continue to descend Chaita and Chitasika at the present day moment. These Chaita and Chitasika are called Parisandi Chaita and Chitasika. You started with this mind for your life. That's a, a kind of Chaita, Kamaochara Upaka Chaita. Then this Kamaochara Upaka Chaita also associated with the other 33 mental factors. All together there will be 34. Okay, all 33. If the Prisandi Chaita is associated with neutral feeling Upaka Virana, there will be 33. Prisandi Chaita associated with Somnasa Virana, present feeling, there will be 34 together with PT. So 34 or 33 Chaita and Chitasika at the Prisandi moment. Then you can analyze one by one. You can analyze at the times because you have already analyzed many nama. Then, after analyzing, you can you understand, okay, nama, rupa, or five aggregates. So you can continue to discern their causes. This nama, rupa, or five aggregates arise because of cause. What are their causes? With the intention to know their causes, you are only just trying to discern at the near death moment or the first past life. This one we call Maranasana Javana, near death moment. Okay? At the near death moment or the first past life, a kind of objects will appear. Kama, you are doing Kusala like you are doing now. Okay? Or Kama Nimeda. A kinds of objects. For example, you are offering the food to the Sangha or Yogi at the time Kusala mind is arising. Then you will feel you are offering the food now, like this. Then such kinds of mind or process arising. This one is called Kama. For some persons, Kama Nimeta may appear. Kama Nimeta me when you are doing, when you are Offering the food to Sangha or Yogi, okay, at the time you may see food or many Sangha or many Yogi. Or such kinds of appearance are called Kama Nimeta. When you offer the Kuti to the Sangha, then maybe Kuti may appear or Sangha appearance may appear. These are called Kama Nimeta, the signs of Kama. So now you are practicing meditations, for example. Now, when you develop Buddha's quality, you have Kamaasra Kusala mind. Maybe at the time you are very happy with the Buddha's quality objects. Then maybe such kinds of mind, such kinds of Kusala will appear at the near the moment. There will be Kama. At the time, maybe you are taking Buddha's image as object. At the time, maybe Buddha image also may appear. Or, or maybe many flower uh, in front of the Buddha, etc. Then there will be Kama Nimeta, the sign of Kama. Or you, can, you may also appear at the near death moment of this life. You understand? 
Maybe such kinds of, kinds of kusala will appear at the near death moment. Then, because of this kusala karma, now you become a human being. If a kusala karma appear, a kusala, you know, a kusala karma appear, you will not be a human being now. You may be a beings or animal, etc. Understand? At the near death moment, a kinds of objects will appear, a kinds of karma will appear. So I will remind you, at the near the moment of your life, don't pay attention to any disagreeable objects or agreeable objects. You only just pay attention to good objects. For example, meditation practice, or maybe you did some kusala offerings, or offering food, or a robe, etc. You only just pay attention to such kinds of kusala. To be human being or deva, to go to good destination in this life. To be able to pay attention or to be able to take good objects at the near that moment, now you are practicing. If you cannot, if you don't practice from now on, probably maybe bad objects may be, uh, maybe getting at the time, maybe pay attention, disagree bad objects, maybe dosa may arise. Or pay attention, agree bad objects, then attachment may arise. With this mind, if you pass away, you will not become a human being. You cannot go to good destination, you will go to best destination. To be reborn as animal or her being, like this. So, you must practice from now on. Don't be lazy. Okay, when you descend in this way, sure, for human being, a kind of co objects will appear at the near death moment of the first past life. For example, Maybe you are meditating or you are taking precepts or you are doing generosity. Such kinds of kusala karma will appear. Or maybe a kinds of appearance may appear. Then you will understand what kinds of karma you accumulated in the past. Then if I continue to explain in detail, there will be Vajra, Dana, Ubarana, Sankhara, Karma, at the time of doing, accumulating this kusala, then you will automatically understand this kusala karma produced for this five aggregate. Then at the time you overcome the doubt, you automatically, practically understand all those five aggregate or those nama rupa are produced by past karma. Then not created by God, not created by Brahma, or they also, they arise without any cause also. It is also no truth. You will automatically understand. Then you destroy or you remove all wrong view. You have no doubt. Then you penetrate Samudhya Seja, the nowhere through all the origin or sufferings. When you reach up to this stage, then you already penetrated to nowhere truths. Then, if you have already penetrated these two noble truths, then you will not fall into full state in this life. Okay, these two noble truths, or nama, rupa, and their causes are the objects of vipassana. So now you know the objects of vipassana by the right knowledge. At the time, you also know their nature. Their nature in brief is arising and passing away, arising and perishing, as soon as they arise and pass away. This is their nature. When you see the real ultimate reality. Pay attention, arising and passing away, passing away all those nama, rupa, then you can start to contemplate them as a nature, a nature, infirmness, infirmness. Dokha, dokha, suffering, suffering, non self, another, another, non self, non self. In this way, again, 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 again. This kind of contemplation is called vipassana. There are also many ways to contemplate them by nama rupa mates, by five aggregate mates, by twelve ayarana mates, eighteen dhatu mates, four nowhere through mate, etc. Then you can also contemplate things by various ways. This is what we call vipassana, insight meditation. 
When you are contemplating those nama rupa and their causes as anicca, dukkha, anatta, again and again, again and again, at that time, vipassana knowledge destroys your defilement slowly, slowly. Then your vipassana knowledge becomes mature. You can see there are many stages of vipassana in the chart. Then those vipassana knowledge will become higher and higher, become mature and mature. Finally, at the end of maturation stage of vipassana knowledge, then you will realize nibbana. Okay, the past mind which realized nibbana is called sota bhati pas knowledge. So this sota bhati pas knowledge, as soon as it takes nibbana as object, then this knowledge also describes, you know, all defilements which can cause for four wufu states. This sota bhati pas knowledge also will describe or wrong view, you know, just now wrong view, also doubt which you get. At the times, you had no doubt regarding the Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha, or the practice of meditations, or Nibbana. That's a Ho Chi Minh city. If someone say, if you had never been there, okay, you may have doubt whether it's, there's a Ho Chi Minh city or not, or if you really reach there, then you have no doubt, oh, sure, here's Ho Chi Minh city. In the same way, this sort of party passing, noble person also, he directly take Nibbana as object, that's why he never has any doubt. So Nibbana agama, you know, rago kiye titi rage kyo, when this knowledge take nibbana as objects, depending on nibbana objects, development disappear. When you begin sotapana, then this nibbana objects will never disappear. Whenever you want to stay with peaceful element nibbana objects, you can stay without defilements. If you still want to continue to practice to become higher nobe patients, Okay, you contemplate nama, rupa, and their causes as anicca, dukkha, anatta. Then when your vipassana knowledge becomes mature, then you will attain higher level of mega knowledges. Okay, the nibbana is nirodha secha, the noble truth or cessation of sufferings. You practice meditation, beginning from keeping precepts up to realization of Nibbana. The, the whole way are called Mekha Secha, you know, the nowhere through all, the nowhere through all the price days leading to the cessation of suffering. This is Mekha Secha. So all together, four Secha. So nowhere person penetrate the four nowhere truths. Then you reach the final goal. You need to practice until you realize Nibbana, until you reach this, this day, until you realize, uh, until you penetrate the four noble truths. Beginning from the discernment or the four element meditation, until you realize Nibbana, this way is called Penya Seka, training and wisdom, because of they are domain or wisdom. Then you also complete the three trainings, Sila Seka, Samadhi Seka, Penya Seka. In other ways, you know, you also complete the Nova Eightfold Pass, Mecca, Eight Atta You also finish the practice of seven stages of propagation in the chart. This is meditation course, so we need to explain up to higher level in brief. But to reach up to the higher level state within 10 days is not enough. Prime practices, these three trainings, or Nobel a for us, may you be able to realize Nibbana as soon as possible. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. I repeat after me to share our merit to all beings. Idame Bonya, Kaya, Waha, Hodu, Idame Bonya, Nibbana, Pechayo, Hodu, Mama Bonya, Baga. Sava Sadhana Pajemi De Sabe Me Sama Ponya Bhaga Labandu Sadu Sadu Sadu